Final Score Friday. Sponsored by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics and Loyalty Automotive. Welcome back to week four of Final Score Friday. Again, big thanks to the cheerleaders from Armstrong for joining us on short notice this week. Our next stop is Chester, where Thomas Dale honored part of their past tonight. That's right. It's the 50th anniversary of the Knights Central District Championship team that went undefeated. The Monarchs came to town after off the heels of snapping their 34 game losing streak just last week against Tucker, but lost four in a row to the Knights. Members of that 72 championship team was honored at halftime during the game to include my late father-in-law, Jeff Westfall, who was a, an assistant coach on that team. First quarter, Dale up seven, nothing. Monarchs punt to Nick Tyree, bad mistake. He scores on the punt return to make it 14, nothing. Nice, later in the second, Ethan Minter. He's gonna go right, keeps the ball, goes left, then comes back right, and then watch this Superman effort as he dives to the pylon for a 50 yard touchdown. Thomas Dale cruises to a 56-6 win over Meadowbrook. Out in the West End for newly ranked Hanover on the road, taking on Mills Godwin tonight. Hanover dispatched their first two opponents of the year with relative ease. This one a little bit different. First quarter, Bosa now. 14-yard touchdown pass to Cole Elrod, and it's 6-0 Hawks. Same two would connect again later in the quarter, this time on a 64-yard pitch and catch, and it's 14-0. Godwin would answer Daniel Viener up top 56 yards to Nick Clark in stride and he's in the end zone 14 to 7 Hawks at that point just before the half they do it in reverse Elrod to Sanal nice. there it is 21 7 at that point Hawks go on to win 41 24 they're now 3 and 0 impressive there for coach Rogers up in Hanover County. Patrick Henry hosting deep run. The Wildcats trying to end the area's longest current losing streak. 13-0 Patriots in the second. Jaden Brown gets sacked by deep runs Colby Turner. No fumble there, but they make it third and 28 for the Patriots. On the next play, Brown will find Jeremiah Grant for the 28-yard touchdown, and it's 20-0 Patriots. On the ensuing kickoff, deep run receives the ball and Shamir, or Shamar Williams says, give me that. Oh my goodness. The strip scoop score. It's robbery. And it's 9-1-1, where are you? 39-0, Patrick Henry with the win over deep run. Over at Henrico, Hopewell, a surprising 0-2 to start the season visiting Henrico. They're trying to avoid their first 0-3 start to a season in 16 years. Ooh. Warriors quarterback Sean Macon picked off by Trayon Shelton and goes all the way back for the touchdown that made it 6-0 Blue Devils. Then Camden Hunt is going to run this one all the way down to the one yard line. It would set up Mason Cumbie's fourth down pass to Hunt for the touchdown and that made it 12 to nothing later. Cumbie up top 40 yards to Cortez Cheatham. Blue Devils get off the schneid. First one of the year 25 to 12 over the Warriors. Finally tonight James River on the road at Huguenot the Falcons had won three straight in this series. First play of the game for the Rapids. Nelson Lane rolls left, finds a wide open Grant Simmons who will go untouched for the touchdown, tack the two point conversion on, and the Rapids have an eight nothing lead. Later in the first, Nelson looks to throw, but keeps it himself, and he will score the touchdown at another two point conversion. James Rivers up 16 to nothing, and they pick up the win on the road. 37 to 12 the final still to come we'll run down uh, more scores from week four of final score Friday stay with us.